Hey, it's KMA. How's your day today? And welcome to the corner. And as you saw, there was a new introduction. Why? Because we are on a new server. We are introduced in Mysticraft today, which is a server of content creators. I suggest that you go down below underneath in the description and subscribe to every one of the people on this channel because you want to stay updated to everything that happens here. It's going to be moving quick. There's going to be a lot of content and there's a lot of cool people on. On Saturday night, we got all together and it was this big event and we recorded and it was amazing and everything was awesome. Then I deleted the file. Oh my gosh. So guess what? In order to see that content, you're going to have to watch one of those videos. So if you want, pause my video, delete my video, get rid of my video, and go to all of their videos and watch the first episode and see how the server was kicked off. Unfortunately, I was a spoon and I deleted my, my work. But, you know, you got to pick up the pieces and continue going. So that's what I'm going to do. Well, I'm going to pick up the pieces and I'm going to continue going. So, before I go and before you go watch those videos, I have a question for you. Who do you think had the first death? And I'll make it easy. I'll make it a multiple choice. Was it me or was it somebody else on the server? That's easy enough, right? Me or somebody else on the server? So answer that in the info in the top right. And if you want, continue with my video as we start working to get a starter home. Where I was initially was where spawn was, but we decided to make spawn town near this village over here. And right next to this village, and if you had not gone to look at the other videos, I'm going to give you a little spoiler right now. K-Mage Corner. First, there's my grave. I was the first one to die. I got a creeper in the face, and when I was trying to run away, a skelly shot me. So that's why we got the creeper skelly combo and that was pretty cool um too bad he lost the footage on that because it was kind of hilarious but we have this graveyard for all the deaths that has happened in the first day or so and i am number one i am the wiener i am the wiener so this is where the um we're, we're building our area the spawn area We've got the little smeltery and stuff. I'm not going to go and show you too much right now because I need to get some work done. But basically, this is um, the area where we're going to build our spawn towns. And um, like most servers that have an end game, we have the fishing farms. You see Lazy Minecrafter right there fishing away. You can hear him fishing away. And I made my own fishing farm over here. The first day, I, um, we worked for about six hours. And I got armored up with some, you know, just some iron armor. But I made a uh, enchanting table and enchanted some stuff. Unfortunately, I lost my diamond stuff. I think that's the only diamond I have right now. <laughs> so, we need to do that. But here's my fishing farm, and I sat here for uh, a few hours getting some stuff, as you see here. So I'm going to go through some of this and figure out what's the best stuff to do. And people here also do not like the fishing farm. It is kind of cheaty, but you know what? I think it's a great way to get going on servers. You people and your fishing farms. AA is Archangel. He's a funny guy. He's a funny guy. He's a funny guy. So everybody here on the server, you will get to know through my videos and through their videos because I know you have subscribed to them all and you have followed them on Twitch. We are also going to do lots of collabs together. So even if you didn't, you will get to meet them all slowly but surely. But let me um, start working on the build. I'm going to, I think, maybe tear this building down or build another building back here. This goes to a zombie spawner. There's a skelly spawner over there, which is awesome because last time I was on the server, there was no XP farms. But I'm going to get going. I've been talking way too much. That's one thing you'll find out about me. I talk way too much. So I'm going to start building something, a little starter home, and uh, I'll get back with you in a minute. All right, next to my fishing farm, a little ugly building here, I'm going to build my home. But first, let me kill this creeper because you know what? When I build... These guys tend to like come over and destroy him. Oh my gosh, I missed. That was called major miss. No, 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 don't you dare. There's already enough creeper holes in this world. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna hmm, clear out some of this grass. 
So let's get rid of the grass. Well, in the yard, I'm going to throw down an 11 by 5 area. I think the house is going to face this way towards here. This will probably be my front yard. So I figure, you know, there's a path that comes through here. We can extend the path this way, maybe curve it over a little bit to get to this. And I'm uh, probably going to have to... F oh, gosh, that's a creeper hole and a half. That's like three creeper holes. I didn't do that. I didn't do that. I know who did it, but I'm not going to throw them under the bus. But anyways, um, let's start with a... Hmm, let's see. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We're gonna do uh, something simple, eleven by five. It looks a little small, but you know what? I think this will be a good size to start with. So I'm gonna, um, let's, I'm cooking up some stone bricks also. Well, actually, I'm making some stone. Now I can make the stone bricks. I'm gonna love this new crafting way. And I'm going to uh, ooh, check your recipes. I'm going to put little corners on here. And what I am going to do is I'm probably going to have to terraform a little bit of this. I'm going to work on this a little bit and uh, show you a possible update. I think I'm going to use some of this dark oak wood and lots of, you know, early game stuff. We, I mean, we don't have prismarine and all that other stuff yet. I do have some quartz, though. Huh. As much as the space is going to be above ground, I shouldn't say base. As much as this starter home is going to be above ground, I'm going to have all my stuff underneath also. <laughs> kind of ironic that she died when she reached level 30. It's day three, and that was her first death. So, yeah, I'm going to get going and uh, show you some stuff in a minute. As you see, I got a basic little design down here, but, you know, there's a little bit too much of uh, stone. So I'm going to add some wood to this logs actually um and thankfully somebody had got some logs from a dark oak forest so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna use those logs i'm gonna throw them on top of each one of these pillars that i have made yeah, can i reach yay did not want to have to do parkour with my <laughs> luck this season so far and uh, we're just gonna fill in the holes and bring these all across like this i do like using the uh, dark oak uh this is something that false symmetry has uh shown instead of using the spruce sometimes the dark oak is better um it looks it goes better with the spruce and i plan on having some spruce going on here uh planks and i think the spruce plank oh just can't reach that all right i guess i'm gonna have to do it like this Blink. all right now we should be able to reach that. Over. So having uh, spruce planks and dark oak together look pretty good. Actually better than the spruce logs and then um, spruce planks. That's why I'm using the dark oak. Even though people tend to look down at dark oak, I like it. I like it. Not this planks, but I like the logs. So I've been working on the uh, roof of this thing and I, I got a lot of stuff in the way, so I'm sorry about that. I will get rid of this in a minute. Oh, somebody put nice glass. Or maybe I did that. I don't know. But the um, building's coming along. It is based on a Twinkles design. And if you don't know Twinkles, she is on Hypermine. Uh, I suggest you go and follow her. I hope my sword kills this guy. Oh, nice. <laughs> my sword's about to die. But, um... It is based on one of her designs, so I gotta give her a little bit of a shout out. I'll have a link to her page in the description. I'm gonna put some doors in here. Um, let's see, we'll put the door there. I think it's okay uh, that I have doors here because um, I don't think the iron farm is gonna come here. One thing I like to do with doors also, I, I kind of like taking these out and kind of giving it Mm, yeah, we'll do that. Why not? Worst comes to worst, I can change it later. As you'll see in the future, if you watch me on a regular basis, I will do changes on a regular basis on builds because I'm not one that tends to completely enjoy... How can I say this? Uh, I like to update things as I go. And at some point I go, okay, that's enough. And I will never touch this building again or else I'll be updating it till the end of the day. 
One, two, three, six. I just want a stair above this. That's kind of like, um, yeah, yeah. I don't know if I'm going to keep those or not. Yeah. So basically, this is done other than the moustache. What I call the moustaches. It's it's basic design right now, and there's nothing really that goes, mm, this, this looks great. You know, you got to terraform it. You got to make it, give it personality, basically. And that's what I'm going to do. You know what? I haven't even looked at my fishing farm. <laughs> I uh, went AFK. I lost the file. I got so upset about losing that initial file that I just like did not log on here for um, a day and kind of got my head back together. And I haven't even looked to see what I have gotten fishing farm wise. I, I did a little bit and I, I know I got this book, which is an amazing book. That's going on a diamond pickaxe, my fortune pickaxe. Um, that's going on my shoes. Let me see what's down here. That's not nothing. Yeah, power four. Uh, this is a power four. I got this also, uh, fishing. So I'm going to make this a power five. Let's see. Looting to uh, efficiency. We'll put that on another pick because I want to silk top efficiency. And then we got this other efficiency. We'll just add it. And, oh, I will assume it will go. It will Lore 3 sharpness sure. okay let's see what else we've got in here respiration yeah we'll we'll take the respiration put that on our helmet sweeping edge oh unbreaking yes unbreaking is one of my favorite books let's see efficiency four mending of course let's throw that in there uh sweeping edge a bane of arthropods the book that everybody goes Ech. all right yeah i'm gonna be able to ew. um yeah, I'm going to be able to get some st stuff going. Uh, it is kind of good to see <laughs> what I had. And I actually got some pretty good books. Um, I'm going to go AFK fishing a couple more times. But, ooh, flower in the face. <laughs> I am going to figure out what I want to do. I'm not going to make that jump. Am I going to make that jump? No, I'm not going to make that jump. Can I land on the sign? Is that something you can do? Can you land on signs? Let's see. No, I can't land on signs. Oh, man. I used to be able to follow up with everything Minecraft, but after like 1.7, I stopped doing that because things changed so much and I got busy. I have a child and stuff, so I stopped paying attention to um, all the things. So I'm not the master at all the ins and outs in Minecraft anymore. But, you know, it's kind of fun to figure things out as you go along. So I'm going to put the mustache on this and not a mumbo jumbo mustache. I'm just talking about personality. Give it some feelings, I guess, because it needs it and um, possibly tear this down. This I'm going to build someplace underneath and I'm going to have like farms and stuff underneath. Everything that I'm going to need in the world should be underneath this building. Um, hopefully there's no builds underneath the building already from other people and I can just and I, I need like 30, 40 blocks down, so I can just have all like the simple farms that people do. Nothing massive, just so I can have food and stuff uh, readily available at spawn. Probably throw an enchanting table in here and other stuff. Because, you know, your spawn house, you like to be able to do things at your spawn house. You like to be able to have fun and, you know, anytime you come to spawn, you want everything there just in case. I'm going to make sure this house has everything that I need whenever I want it. I don't think I'm going to put my main storage here because we get to find a place to put a base. That won't be today, though. We'll figure that out later. So I'm going to finish this up, give it some personality. Then I'm going to Valamus and get out of here and call this episode one. And I am going to apologize that you did not see any of the stuff that the collaborations we I did with the other members of the server. I'm so excited that we have the server going, though. But in the future, you will see plenty of collaborations between us because we are going to be working together for a whole bunch of different projects. And I can't wait. I'm out in the middle of the ocean. You may be wondering why. I have a, a serious lack of diamonds. Why am I wearing iron armor still? I should be wearing diamond armor. So... I like to go to the ocean and dig and I've already done that because I was looking for diamonds and as you can tell by what I was wearing um, I wasn't too successful 
but I was kind of successful. Um, I got the diamond sword, diamond pick, a couple of other diamond things, but I did not get enough diamond for armor yet. And I tell you, I was caving for like four hours. Um, I brought back half of my stuff to the spawn base. Uh, so that's not everything, but oh boy. Um, when it comes to servers and looking for diamonds, I tend to have very bad luck. If I'm on my own and I'm not recording or whatever, I'll have 100 diamonds in three minutes. <laughs> Saturation, of course. But, yeah, servers, trying to record, don't get the diamonds. So I've run out of time to find the diamonds. Which kind of sucks. But, I'll get over it. I'm going to do something very mumble-like and say, Hey, these are the last blocks that I'm placing to build my home. Oh, and there's an adventure, people. They're going on an adventure. They invited me, but I have to go. I have to go do stuff. But let me show you uh, the the personality on the build. I, I said I was going to add personality. And look, at I have added personality. It's just a shame that it's always raining on this server always raining but i figured you know with the crunch time and me having to get out of florida um it's a good time to record now can't wait for the rain to stop but i hope you like it it's um it's a decent build and like i said it's based on something twinkles who plays on hypermine did i have to do the inside still so uh bear with that but i did uh place lights all over so i don't have to have torches out here yeah and the other thing is i've got an upstairs where i have the storage and i got a little you know i got this little area it's i mean quite and it's gotta be made a little bit Ooh, who's coming around here um but once it is um done on the inside it'll look a lot better but that will be for another time and i just wanted to let you guys know that i did make a fishing farm because that's what people do i remade it and i put it down here you can see it goes up there but unfortunately i do have to go it's been that time um we have a hurricane coming and i gotta get plans done and i want to make sure i get at least this first video up um so i don't know about next week depends on how bad we get hit and or if i actually go to georgia or mississippi or stay here or whatever we're still trying to figure that out but there will be more videos i'm so happy to be here now and um i'm <laughs> watching family craft dad and tom boat tom butt run around behind me but anyways um I'm so happy to be on the server, and I can't wait to see all this content, watch everybody else's videos. But you should go to the links down below and subscribe to everybody so you can watch everybody's perspectives on what goes on in the server. This should be an exciting journey, and I can't wait to see what happens. Have a great day, guys. Bye.